New this morning, we have uncovered a new layer of the massive fraud schemes targeting the state's unemployment system. Now, scammers are using the information of people who have passed away to try to cash in on benefits they obviously don't deserve. Three on your side, Susan Gamble has been tracking these issues for a long time. She's got all the details. Yeah, Phoenix man alerted us to this issue right after he got a DES debit card addressed to his late wife. In this case, the card didn't go where the bad guys wanted it to. Michael Wright's beloved wife Mary passed away almost four years ago. Every so often, he still gets mail addressed to her, but this envelope was different. I did catch me a little bit. A debit card from the state's Department of Economic Security with Mary's name on it. Apparently one of 3.4 million fraudulent claims inundating Arizona's unemployment system. I go, wow, looks like they've uh, they found a new uh, <laughs> a new vein to mine here, perhaps, because I hadn't heard of anybody uh, deceased being used in this in this stuff. We hadn't either, so we went right to DES with our questions. A spokesperson for the agency says there's no state data on how many fraudulent unemployment claims have been filed using the personal information of people who've passed away. But he says DES does use federal databases to flag claims that use deceased individual social security numbers. But I could find no way to report something involving a deceased person. Michael's been waiting for more than a month for a call back from DES to get this fake account in his wife's name cleared up. I miss her very much uh, and I wish things had turned out differently. I wish she was here to deal with this, frankly. A spokesperson for DES tells me they will reach out to Michael. They also say in most cases involving suspected fraud, money is never actually loaded onto those debit cards. If you get one of those cards that doesn't belong to you, file a fraud complaint with the agency. But Scott, as we've reported, it may take more than a month for an investigator to respond to you because this agency is just so swamped right now. Wow, that is amazing. Susan, thank you for that.